Got something to show you guys. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. We are here with the M4 GTS today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about wings and end plates. So as you guys know, the M4 GTS actually comes with a wing from factory. Mine is currently on the GT4 risers and I'm running the M235 IR Motorsport M plates. But the carbon fiber top spoiler piece is in fact OEM BMW and it comes on the M4 GTS from the factory. So what a lot of people do is they actually buy the M235 IR Motorsport end plates, which these are those, and they are a little bit larger than the factory end plates that come on this car. And they just look overall a bit more proportionate to the entire design of the car with the wing. Now wings are definitely a touchy subject in the automotive community. Some people hate them, some people love them. But as we know, you guys, when it comes to modifying your cars, it is very important to just do what you want to do to your cars. Do not worry about what other people are doing. It is your money, it is your build. You are free to do with it as you wish. Don't worry about what other people have to say. You will get a lot of people when you are ever running a wing, even if it comes from the factory like that, you'll get a lot of people that hate on your car because it has a wing. 99% of the people on the internet who have things to say about your car typically do not drive a respectable build. Ugh, take that stupid ricey wing off. I'm not sure what you mean. This car comes from the factory with a wing on it. I don't care, it's dumb, it's ricey, and it's ugly. Take it off. I mean, if you don't like it, you definitely don't have to rock one on your car. Yeah, I know that, but yours just looks so ricey with it. It ruins the whole car. I don't want to have to see that. Well, when you buy your M4 GTS, you're free to run it without a wing if you don't want to. Whatever, dude. Rice, unfollow. They are really coming after me for the wing. Nonetheless, you'll see a lot of the people that buy these cars or just have wings in general, or even a lot of the track guys typically go for a little bit larger end plates. I will say that the factory OEM M4 GTS end plates on this spoiler look a little bit weird. They're very small. I thought that maybe these ones would look too large. And once I put them on the car, I realized that these actually look much more proportionate to the entire car than the smaller ones. So I had a lot of people reaching out to me telling me, hey man, you got to do the M235 IR end plates. So I went ahead and ordered them. They are actually OEM from BMW and they come in the packages with the part numbers and they are about $200 for the pair. It takes roughly four to five weeks for you to get them, which I really didn't have a problem with until I saw the quality when I received them. Now, being that these are OEM BMW, you would automatically sort of think that the quality has to be pretty good. These are what they in fact run on the M235 IR motorsport race cars. So I was really excited to get a product directly from the factory that I knew would be of quality until I actually received the product. Now these end plates are obviously designed to be on a race car, so they are gonna get beaten up pretty good. However, you know, if I'm gonna be spending a couple hundred dollars on these little plastic pieces, I would expect them to be of a certain quality level. So the first thing that I realized with these end plates is they are extremely flexible. Now this is just your usual plastic, there's nothing special about it, but they bend very easily. So if you are going at a high rate of speed, I can only imagine these are probably flexing pretty good. You can see right here, they really do have have a lot of flex to them. And I also noticed that when I first received them, they were scratched up all over the end plate. You can see these micro abrasions all over the plastic. And this is how I received them. I've only had these on for a couple of weeks. I really haven't touched them, but they just came with all of these crazy micro abrasions on it. I also didn't love the fact that the screws weren't recessed into the actual plastic. So they sort of stick out a little bit. So after waiting five weeks for these, paying a couple of hundred dollars, receiving them, and just not being totally 100% happy with the quality, I thought maybe we can design our own. And not only could we design our own, but we could design a bunch of different styles, a bunch of designs, and even customize them for people if they wanted to order some. So I teamed up with American Panda Design again. Just like when we aimed to make a solution for these super badges, we decided to make a solution for these end plates. Now we are actually opening the ordering process to customize any shape that you want on an end plate. And no matter what car you drive, what kind of wing you have, you can actually custom design your own shape out of the end plates to fit any kind of wing. And you can also add your own custom logo to the end plate themselves. With shipping and everything, these end plates are actually going to be cheaper than the OEM factory BMW end plates. They also
also come in different finishes. And further down the line, we're also going to be allowing people to have these painted, custom painted in their paint codes. So now that you guys have seen what the OEM factory end plates look like, let's go ahead and open up some of these ones and show you guys what the difference is in quality and why I just think that these are going to be a much better product. All right. So we got this one off. I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna run through some of the options here and just show you the differences that we have with a lot of these. So the factory OEM BMW end plates are just all gloss black, which I don't hate, but I actually prefer having a satin finish. A lot of the accents on my M4 are actually satin, including the wheels. The other problem with the gloss is it just gets extremely scratched up. These are already just destroyed. So the plastic just isn't that sturdy. And you can see where the screws go in, they're not recessed so the screw actually sticks out and creates this just goofy lip or gap from the actual screw to the plastic which I didn't love as well I just felt like the design could be a lot better so got together with American Panda and I think first we'll open up the no logo to give you guys an idea of just plain straight up end plates and how they'll look open this up here So this is how they come when you guys receive them. And you'll see right away, you have satin on one side, you'll have these recessed holes. So the screw actually sinks into the wing itself. It just looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. And then on this side, you're gonna see, you're gonna have this protective covering. So this covering itself actually peels right off and underneath it, you're gonna see fresh new gloss black. You won't receive it with any scratches, any marring. Things should look like a mirror when you get it. So why does this matter? Well, now you have the option. You can decide whether you want to run this with the satin finish on the outside or the gloss finish on the outside. So now rather than just having gloss on both sides, you have a little bit of an option. We also made the thickness twice as thick as the original one. So these have zero flexibility. They are completely stiff and these are not gonna be flopping in the wind, but let's go ahead and throw these on the car so I can show you exactly what they look like with the recessed edges like that. And you'll get an idea of what the overall wing looks like with the thickness. Now it might be a little bit hard to tell on camera, but at first I was concerned. I thought maybe these would be too thick and that's just because I was so used to the original ones, but let me throw them on and show you. All right, you guys, so we got the new end plates on and you can already tell they just look so much more proportionate, a little bit thicker. And in my opinion, with the satin finish, I think it matches everything a lot better. I have the satin risers. Now these are satin, my wheels are satin. Everything just kind of like gets tied in in these little details when you do this. So this is the actual thickness of it and it's really just a basic design. It's a little bit different than the actual factory one, but we didn't want to like directly copy what the uh, M235 IR design was. So we changed some of the corners a little bit to be a little bit harder. Nonetheless, it looks very good. And notice how the screws are now recessed in. It's just a much cleaner look for the overall end plate design. Same with this side, looks extremely good. So in my opinion, this is just a much better look overall. And really when it comes to making these sort of products for people, nine times out of 10, they are inspired because we come across a problem. And overall, I just had a problem with the OEM ones. I just really thought that the quality wasn't great on these for the price. You had to wait five weeks to get them. And I was just kind of disappointed when I got them. So we decided to make these. And I think these turned out really, really good. They're just a thicker, more durable plastic with a cleaner design. You have the option for gloss or satin when you buy one set. So you can just interchange them, flip flop them. And now we open up the possibility of customization. So a lot of people with these wings will run different styles, different shapes, and we are gonna be offering completely custom shapes. You can literally send in a drawing of the shape that you want on your wing and we will make it for you. So obviously this won't attain to everyone because not everyone rocks wings, but if you are a wing person, this is gonna be a really fun and cool project for you. Something that you can customize yourself. And it really 
really doesn't matter what kind of wing you have as long as it has a flat side like this where the plastic can lay up against it. We will be able to make the dimensions for the holes as wide as you want, and of course, whatever shape you'll like as well. For these ones in particular, they do have the full adjustability, just like the OEM ones with the three holes back here, as well as the one up front. So you can change the angle of the end plate, but we now offer these with a much quicker turnaround time and a little more customization. So these ones in particular right here are just the factory, no logo design. They're just very clean, very OEM look, very basic. And I'll be honest with you, these ones are probably the ones that I'm going to run the most, but we're not done. American Panda gave me a bunch of different styles here to show you guys. And these are all going to be available on the website right now for you guys to order. So if you have a wing that you wanna try out, do a custom design, you can now go on there and order whatever you want. Let me go ahead and first show you what the hex design is. Here is the example of the hex design. So if you wanna get something a little bit crazy, you can go with this. And of course you have those recessed screws in there so they are not sticking out. Something a little bit different, you know, if you had like a pretty crazy looking build, you could run something like this. Doesn't really fit my style of build, but I know that some people out there would be into it. On the other side, I'm gonna show you guys what the custom logo would look like. So you could actually put your own logo up there if you guys wanted to. We'll sit right up in that corner and I'll give you guys an idea of what that looks like with my logo. They actually made one with the thick whips, the TW. So I'll throw that on right now for you. So here's my custom logo on the end plate and these are actually etched in there so you can actually feel the etching through the plastic this isn't like painted on or anything it's actually laser engraved into the end plate itself but it looks pretty cool so if you wanted to run your logo on here you could do that just something different that you can add to your end plates to make them a little bit more distinguishable to your car and original We've got the american panda design on this side you could even do numbers if you wanted to really the possibilities are endless when it comes to setting up and designing your own specific end plates but i think most importantly you know is the overall design of the end plate is really good with these being as thick as they are they're much more rigid it just feels like they're much more durable and then having the recessed screw holes looks a lot better as well and then of course the satin finish or the gloss whichever one you want to decide to go with so pretty cool lots of different options for you guys i know that this isn't going to pertain to everybody but some of you guys who are running wings or are thinking about running you know a gts style wing or maybe you have like the e90 with the gts style wing or the e92s you now have options when it comes to the end plates if you guys are interested in buying a set you know those links will be down below go ahead and hit those up i always find the wing debates to be a bit comical we are totally okay with giant wings on porsches gt3 rs gt2 rs but when it comes to being BMWs, even if they're factory, even if the car comes from the factory with that wing, there just seems to be a lot of pushback. Mm. Another update, I actually found a set of OEM risers for this car. So I'm gonna rock the OEM risers as well and see if I like those better than the GT4s. The GT4s are pretty large. They're a little bit lower than the RKP high risers that I had. I don't hate them. I like them. I think they look pretty cool on the car, but I really haven't seen my own personal car with the factory risers because this car didn't come with them. So I do wanna have them just for the day that I do end up offloading the car. I'd like to have all the original OEM parts. So once I get those, I'm gonna throw those on. I also have a couple of other good coming for this car but it's gonna be good anyways i just want to show you guys these new products i think they look pretty good they're really well made and i think that they solve an actual problem which is the most important thing that'll wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>